Ahakti Anderson Wienerheim, Christy O'Sullivan, Tachti Orpok Billy Kelleher, Canada Mark Daly, Corlory Deirdre Kelly, Joe Carroll, Mr. Sun Nakulain, on the Tough of Faki Macham. Is privilege all word on Gertogod Quiddagum, Lord Erin Okaicha in Leona. Okai de be Larnuk to trade her son to Searsha. While I'm co-ordered to see in the league, but often slew all word at a bally in Chanyo. The whole most is point, Gohini, a Visasta, a Mahakur and Wild, her son to Searsha. I'm with Queen Row, Egan Arm, Grother and I, and Impidacht is moor down. Gra a Nuhlan our door taku. As Gra Searsha, the Tira, Marsprokaku. MAP, Billy Kelleher, deputies, Andres Minahan and Christy O'Sullivan. Christy, whose grand uncle, John D. O'Sullivan, took part in the ambush. Councillors Deirdre Kelly, Joe Carroll, Gillian Cochlan, Senator Mark Daly. And I hope I haven't left anybody out. It's always the big danger when you name people. <laughs> Reverend Father. It's a deep, deep privilege to be asked to give this year's oration to commemorate one of the most important engagements of the War of Independence. <coughs> I'd like to salute the organizing committee for their efforts and also to especially say that it's a privilege that so many relatives of those who took part are present here today. Here we had the volunteers who struggled constantly with a lack of arms and equipment up against the auxiliaries who are made up of ex-commissioned officers of the British Army who are veterans of the First World War. They were a battle-hardened force with a terrible reputation, whose role was to subvert the democratic wishes of the Irish people and to reimpose British law in Ireland. The auxiliaries, as has been said before, who were ambushed in Kilmichael were stationed in McCroom and had been terrorizing the local population in the weeks before the ambush without retaliation. Tom Barry and his column decided they need to be taught a lesson and thus set about arranging for the ambush. As can be seen, they were very careful in the selection of the ambush site. And indeed, Tom Barry and Michael McCarthy, who was killed in the action, had done a recce to try find the most strategic position. I think it is important, remembering these events, to, represent, to remember the organization, discipline, and hardship involved, and the human risk taken to vindicate the right of the Irish people <coughs> to choose their own form of government. We're going to be here for a very short time in a typical November day. And as has been promised, we'll get sustenance shortly afterwards. Now, I did threaten my colleagues, Christy and Andreas, that I was going to speak for as long as the volunteers had to wait. <laughs> just to give you some idea of what it was like but remember they arrived the night before and they had to wait all day until 4pm in the afternoon for the ambush to take place it is interesting to note that during the night the volunteers used two safe houses Farrells and Tullock and our relatives, or are the relatives of Farrell's here, and also relatives of the 
Councillor Deirdre Kelly, home, uh, who, uh, they used the home place in Clogher, where Tom Barry actually stayed. I think also it's important to recognise that the IRA couldn't have operated without the community being behind them, without the support and the safe houses of the people in general. And they were taking a huge risk in providing that protection. I think it is also important, because sometimes people glorify war, to think of the huge risk of being killed and the privation suffered by the volunteers, <laughs> many of which of those survivors who suffered long-term effects on their health and many of them died relatively young as a result. As we know, of the 36 volunteers, three died as a result of the ambush. Michael McCarthy, Jim O'Sullivan, and Pat Deasy, who was mortally wounded and died subsequently. I do not intend going into the details of the ambush here, as I'm sure that that aspect has been well covered by much more competent people than me over the years at various commemorations here. What I'd like to do is to put this event in its wider con context so that people understand the huge significance of it in the War of Independence of what was going on. 105 years ago, Yesterday, the 25th of November 1918, the British Parliament was dissolved at the end of the First World War and an election called. The moment of a destiny had arrived for Ireland as to whether they would choose the path of freedom as outlined a few years earlier in the proclamation of 1916 or not. The answer of the people was overwhelming. They voted for independence and set up the first democratic government in Ireland on the 21st of January 1919.